My question is about sprinting. Good. Ask the discus thrower about sprinting. Having made a, <laughs> this next part's quite funny. Ready? Having made a rash and foolhardy wager with my eldest son for my 52nd birthday that I could run the 100 meters in 13.5 at age 55. I, I got to tell you, Robert, I coached uh, high school track and field here in Utah. Uh, Utah's not exactly known for its sprinting, but at 13.5, you do okay in a lot of our races. That's not necessarily high praise, but that's a good time for 55. I have begun to train to that end and would be very interested in your thoughts for a long-term strategy. Um, yeah, that's a great long-term plan, uh, especially the fact that you have three years. I played and coached football, soccer, uh, up until a year or so ago, and I've always sprinted incidentally, but I have no formal athletic training and not done any strength work other than body weight circuits uh, and such. I'm 5'8", 150. That's, that's, a good, that's a good size for your age. Um, and then he has a little plan he's going to do, and then, I'll, and then I'll give it to you, and then I'll give you my comments. My plan for the first year is to build some basic strength and improve my mobility. Years of football means tight hamstrings and zero ankle flexion. So to begin with, I'm doing four lifts, military press, pull-ups, squats, and deadlifts. And honestly, if I was going to pick four, those would probably be the four I'd pick, uh, Robert. Three times a week with kettlebell swings and carries on the other days. I also try to fit in an interval session on the turbo trainer and one long ruck, uh, six to seven miles, with a pack. Inevitably, I rarely manage all of this, but always do the lifting. I'm 5'8", 150. Um, one of the things I strongly recommend you do, and and I don't know of a high school coach or uh, I'm, I'm sure you could probably, and I'm not sure where you're from, but there's got to be a track and field team close to you, uh, a high school track coach of some time, maybe sometimes a football coach. Um, call up, offer to pay them, and get some time on the track uh, having someone look at your sprint technique. Because right now we're just in, uh, we're kind of in uh, imaginary world right now. But, and I, I, by the way, I do think the deadlifts, I do think the, and the militaries and the pull-ups, I know for sure, will help you with your speed. But unless your technique is on, you're going to be wasting speed. Um, <laughs> no offense to my brothers and sisters in soccer, but you guys tend to run like this. And that's just not an optimal way to move. So you need to run like a track athlete with, uh, you know, you're going to be a little bit taller. You're gonna, your head's going to be forward. You're not necessarily going to you don't run down the track. You bounce, 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 bounce down the track. Um, you want your glutes to be freakishly strong. Uh, you're going to have to really make sure your 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 ab wall is locked on. Uh, for carries, I'd start recommending suitcase carries so that you build up the that whole side structure to allow you not to to do any wobbling as you go. Boom. Uh, we do a drill. We've been doing this drill a long time. Uh, now I do it with a ball here in the head, but we do speed skater drills, driving the head side to side like this to get the athlete to practice being on, that the head is on top of that bounding foot. And so the speed skater drill with the ball here, uh, it, the ball exacerbates any issues of tension. Um, a couple of resources I want you to look up if you can. Uh, I'd like you to read up on Percy Cerruti. I'll be mentioning Cerruti in this pod podcast again, C-E-R-U-T-T-Y. Uh, one thing I'd like you to start thinking about is hill sprints and maybe even, if you have the opportunity, uh, sand dunes. Now, if you live where I just w uh, was this weekend in Kansas, uh, hill sprints are going to have to be sled pulls or stadium steps. Uh, sand or soft running, I'd like you to get – so what I'm trying to get you to do is we need, by reading Cerruti – we need to build up your volume of just pure running. At the same time, we start to address your technical issues, okay? Um, boy, this is a good goal. Um, your strength to weight ratio is going to be really important, and that's why you doing body weight exercises uh, isn't going to help you as much over the next three years as we move towards this goal. Um, you know, I would, I would hate to say I insist, but I would really like to see you 
uh, military press your body weight 150, very doable, and at least deadlift your body weight over the next couple of years, which is 300, which again is very doable because you need some basic. So a <laughs> lot thrown at you here. You need basic strength to military body weight to deadlift double body weight. You need some technical practice. You need some time. You need some time bouncing up and down uh, as as a runner. Um, the sand dunes, the soft grass, the, the maybe even uh, going off. Uh, like I'm just pointing to where we were doing it in my house. Uh, there's there's trails over there. Um, you can walk. You can walk, run. You can shuffle. You can uh, do fart lick, which is called which means speed play, where you sprint up a hill, walk, jog, stride, uh, butt kickers, and just mess around but you're going to need some time to build up you need some time to build up the the feet the toes uh, the ankle and the bounce in your career i think this is a just a great goal and i, I am honored to be part of your process